Hi, my name's Sam, and a few weeks ago I bought a lion's head from Near and Dear. I painted it up and I entered it into their photo competition, and they loved the effect so much that they asked me how I created it. Today I'm going to create a video to show you how you can create the same effect in a few simple, easy steps for less than $15. Now, my friends at Near and Dear have sent me another piece of their artwork. And, true to their name, it's a deer head. So, let's get started. Okay, so we've come outside to paint because we'll be using some spray paint. And on that, these are the three products you'll need. Some black matte spray paint. There is a specific reason why I chose matte, and that is because it just looks like it's more realistic when you get to the shadows. The other thing you'll need is some gold paint. This one is just a brushed metallic gold. It's very cheap, it's like $3. You won't even need, you'll need hardly any of it. The third and final thing is a dry brush. The thing you want to look for in these brushes is that they're hard bristled because that's going to help you achieve the effect. The other great thing about having the brush is that you can just dust it off, get all this stuff off. And so I'm going to take care of that and then we'll get on to the next step. Now, as you can see, I've repurposed the paper from the box. Um, it's just going to give us a little bit more protection. What you want to grab first is your matte black paint. The matte black, is, as I said earlier, is going to give you better shadows and just make it look more realistic. Okay, so our spray paint is dry. The next thing you're going to want is the gold paint. I've got a brushed metallic gold, but really you can use the, the same effect with any, uh, any paint you want. Silver, sparkly, glitter, anything you want. The key to this effect, it's called dry brushing. It's a very simple technique. You don't want too much uh, paint on your brush, just a really small amount. Look for the high points on the, on the deer. So if you can see them, some of them are these ones here. That's what we're going to aim for. And then we'll leave the black. So that will look like the shadows. So, let's see how this works. Hopefully, hopefully it works well. So, here she is all done, looks beautiful. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned a lot, and I hope most importantly that you're inspired to go and create this for your own uh, pieces. Thank you. Thank you.